you were also kind of shocked, right? Local cream mart. Wow. I can never resist these. Are going to lunch. Our friend Lowell, who's like the best foodie, he's been living in Seoul on and off for like over 20 years. He recommended this place. It's like good for udon and gyoza. And it's kind of cold and windy today, so we're kind of feeling that. Mm -hmm. So we came over to Gangnam. We're gonna grab lunch and just kind of like walk around a little bit afterwards. Our foodie friend Lowell, thanks yeah. again. <laughs> I like this one. Me too. Yeah. These days a lot of restaurants do this kind of thing. You can just order it and even pay from this. We're too dumb to figure it out. So we ordered meat gyoza. Gyoza means dumpling. So on the bottom is Japanese dumplings and on top is soy kimchi which is Korean kimchi. It's fusion so at its, it's finest. It's fusion, yeah. <laughs> and we're just kind of walking around these Gangnam side streets right now and some of the blossoms are already out. Spring is around the corner even though it still feels like winter has lasted forever. I know. Going into spring, Vessi is sponsoring this video. We've been wearing their shoes for like three years. They're mm -hmm. a Canadian company that makes 100% waterproof sneakers and they have a new style out that they just mm -hmm. released and they're the Stormburst low top. You guys probably remember the original Stormburst, the kind of like a higher top and we would wear them, especially in the winter months when it snows and when it's slushy. Mm -hmm. But these guys are like a little more of a sneakery version. So mm -hmm. you could go from literally walking in the city to hiking if you wanted. Yeah, I really like the support on the bottom. It makes me even feel taller. Yeah. <laughs> so what makes Vessi so special is that they're perfect for any type of weather, but also any climate. And mm -hmm. that's because they're made out of this special material called Dynatex, which is a dual climate knit material. So in the winter, your feet are warm, but in the summer, it keeps them really cool and ventilated. And Vessi has a lot of different styles of shoes for different activities. And my favorite one is weekend shoes. It's perfect for walking around the city, even for like biking. And aside from shoes, Vessi also has a lot of really cool accessories as well. So if you want to keep your feet dry with 100% waterproof shoes for these early spring days, we have a link in the description box. You can get 15% off your first purchase at Vessi. So we're gonna do a little more walking around. Actually, the air is so clean today. So let's just explore these side streets a little bit and then let's yeah. head home. It's so clear that we can see Namsan Tower from Gangnam. Like, what? Huh. Whoa.
Yeah, this Olive Young has like a wine and makgeolli section. Yeah, this is more my type. <laughs> well, technically this is also wine. So yeah. that's wine. I know. All right, it's windy and cold, guys. We're gonna head home. That was enough for us. I'm glad I didn't stop my hair. I Look, told you not to. It's no. just like, that was so right. windy. We've been hearing about this movie called Pamyo Exuma. I can't watch any scary movies, but I'm so, so curious about this movie. Me too. The movie Exuma is doing really well in Korea, and I'm hearing that they're doing really well outside of Korea as yeah. well. Maybe because it's unfamiliar for other countries, people. Like shamanism? Yeah. Yeah. Because you were also kind of shocked, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you're so <laughs> good <down>, at right? So <laughs> yeah, we're super curious about this movie. Like, we watched the trailer. It looks excellent. Mm -hmm. Roughly, the synopsis is there seems to be this weird issue mm -hmm. with this family, and they think it's connected somehow to, like, their ancestors' grave sites. Mm -hmm. So they have to exhume the graves and, like, move them but like weird stuff happens and blah 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 but when you exhume a gravesite in korea you can't just have like a construction crew show up mm. you have to i don't know it depends it depends on your background like you know are you christian so. but a lot of people would still hire a shaman to do this kind of like ritual mm. i don't do they still do it i don't know that's a good question i don't know because i don't know how our Family is gonna do it. Oh, I bet you anything your family would do it. I don't because know. you said now, okay, here know. we go into this. <laughs> this is kind of related to like, you know, spirits. When it is the holiday, like say Lunar New Year or Chusok, and we were at your grandpa's house, you do chare, which is preparing all this big table of food mm -hmm. for essentially your ancestors mm -hmm. who are obviously deceased. Mm -hmm. And you leave like spoons and chopsticks on the dishes to kind of symbolize like, oh, like they're eating and enjoying too. And you like leave the door open a crack so they can get in, okay? Yes. But you told me that you can only do it at grandpa's house unless you hire the special person mm -hmm. who like goes to another location if you want to do that ceremony at another location. And they have to do this ceremony thing so that the ghosts know where to go. Yes. Oh, that's, that sounds a little... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like even with that kind of stuff, I'm like a little bit like nervous about. So this movie is like really a lot for me. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure someday we'll probably watch, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like on your phone with no volume? No volume and I have to be drunk, so I wouldn't <laughs> remember anything. <laughs> I'm so curious for anyone watching, have you seen this movie? Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on it? Was it really good? Was it super scary? I don't know like the level of scariness. I want to watch it, but at the same time, I want to sleep a good night, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I also want to ask, how common is it in modern day Korea if you were to like exhume graves and like move them to another location? Is it still common to like have a shaman do that ceremony? And like for those of you who maybe, you know, don't live in Korea and aren't familiar with like shamanism in Korea, if you ever watched The Glory on Netflix, they show it a lot. Yes. And that, those scenes creep me out. Well, I'm glad we're talking about this in the daytime. Yeah, that's why we're doing it in the daytime because we're such chicken shit we can't like bear it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we were in the mood after like three to four long years of not shopping at like a big marked grocery store yeah. in Korea because we do that all online now, right? Mm -hmm. But we're just in the mood today because sometimes it's fun to pop in and like discover new like flavors and brands and stuff that you don't think to search for online. And we're gonna go to Hanaro Mart today, which is like a local Korean mart and it's pretty big in there. Very big, actually. And we just have like a couple very simple things on our list, like genip and like lettuce, maybe like a little bit of beef. Yeah. This is 
Sarah's favorite section. Yeah. Oh man, this one's a real good. No, no, we just walked in here. I don't want to grab something so. <laughs> This is all mandu? Yeah. Just one section. I don't know about the other side. You're like circling these mandu like a vulture. Do you want mandu? Huh. Uh, oh. I had no idea they had like pibigo chapche. What? Does this mean we wouldn't have to make these for the holidays anymore? We can just buy like this? <laughs> I guess. Yo, look at these. They have uh, samga kimbap. Kimchi cheese. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, these days, really, you don't even have to cook and buy ingre uh, individual ingredients. Look at this. I know. And this is actually cheaper, too. Sometimes. It, it is. Perfect. Now we have to find the sesame leaves. Oh! Do any other country people eat this? Um, I never even heard of them or saw them until I came to Korea. I don't know. This is for like kimchi making, right? Yeah. It's huge. Size of your head. This just like by itself with like a samjang or something. Mm. expensive in Korea but over like the last year or so it's gone up so much like a crazy amount that there's even an article lately that I read the fruit consumption amongst Koreans has gone down a lot because like some of them like what was it kul and something else apples went up like 70% in just one year the price so you can't really buy like that much fruit but uh, we do have some strawberries that we got on sale today at like a little local mart but we're gonna skip those like 129,000 like one apples over there. This is the cheese section and there's no one but me. <laughs> that there's more variety of cheese and stuff in Korea, but the downside is that it's extremely expensive. For this like little, like tiny bit of mozzarella, it's 7,781, which is like very expensive. Yeah, I love that camembert cheese, but I, I can't justify paying over 10,000 won for that little thing. Of course, they'd have a whole tteokbokki section. Your mom, Debbie, always calls yeah. these uh, orange tubes. Yeah. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> orange tubes. Oh, they have pho. I don't know where. The Meat place. section? I don't know. This place is huge. Funny enough, at this place, I get like Canadian superstore vibes. Like, you know, the big superstore in my neighborhood? Yeah, I miss that. Actually. Yeah. Section. Okay, let's go. Yo, these are like, these are some of my favorite Korean snacks, guys. These little rice snacks. I can never resist these. They're so soft and chewy and sweet. And like the inside is like airy. Mm. Those little meal tables behind you, well, front of you, I guess. He 
found the makoli section. Sorry. What, what, what? Solbing incholmi makoli? This one? Yeah. Okay. Well, they do have a decent number of them. No, we shouldn't get any alcohol. Really? The sun is coming in. I love it. Um, personally, I like this Hanaro Mart better than like E Mart because I feel like E Mart's it's nice, but it's a little flashy. This place has more variety of the stuff I like, like more like traditional Korean food and stuff rather than like a bunch of clothes and like toys and stuff. They're like targeting older clientele. It's That's why like you like it. People. No, I'm serious. That's why I like it because like they're just like, you know what? You came here to get groceries. That's mm -hmm. what we're going to offer you. I don't know, man. Wherever they are catering to older people when it comes to food, it's like never a miss. I know. You always liked Nakwa before you yes. became a trend. Those are what we put the food on for like chare for the holidays with the ancestors, and I did not know they were like that kind of price. It's beautiful. Look at our sad cart. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the snack section. And my dad's absolute favorites. If you come to Korea, buy Mong Shell. I love those. I was kind of teased because it's an uh, old people snack. Hey. So these are Korean traditional snacks. Mm. And my favorite is this one. Oh, this yeah. is really good. Okay, in this area, Q Home Cures, can you pick out two of my favorites in here? Your favorite? Just to see if you know me. Yakwa. And? I mean, you like this too. Yes, those are the ones I'm talking yeah. about. I love that they make the new ones now. I can't even explain what this is. It's almost like a chewy, sweet, dense donut. I don't know. I don't really know like how they make it to be honest, but it's <laughs> so, so delicious. Okay. This is all noodles and ramen. Yeah, that was all hanu, which is Korean beef, which is really expensive, so we're just gonna order beef online. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream's a really good price. It's like between like 50 cents and like 80 cents-ish. Kyo's getting hungry. He wants to get some, like chicken or something. Let's see what they got. Okay. What did you do? Hello. Uh oh, you saw a chicken? Hi. <laughs> wow, this cat is already showing his belly. This cat is already like. They're friendly with humans, yeah. well fed. Korean supermarket chicken, man. It's only like 4.23. Mmm. Early dinner? Mm-hmm. Hey! Mm. 
Hey, we should watch Physical 100 while I'm eating this. Alright. That will definitely make us feel bad. <laughs> Oh. I wonder if they ever eat fried chicken. I'm feeling bad, but tomorrow I'll hit the gym. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's so desperate. Aww, I'll get a little chicken. bit. Jeez.